Hi, I'm Lon Gross, VP of Chaos Group, makers of V-Ray and V-Ray RT. Today I'm going to be showing you a brand new version of V-Ray RT that is fully CUDA optimized. We're going to be using a Kepler-based Maximus platform and Maya 2013 to walk you through a typical workflow. Okay, so uh, just prior to launching Maya 2013, I configured my system to dedicate the Quadro card for uh, screen interactivity and the Tesla card for compute. I'm going to open up a scene here that we've created. So if I switch over to my render camera, and uh, this is our scene, I'm going to jump up to render settings. And within render settings, inside the common tab, I'll make sure that I'm set to be uh, 1920 by 1080. So we're going to render a full HD frame here. Um, and then I'm going to go over to the RT engine. and this right now we have the option of choosing CPU, OpenCL, and CUDA and of course we want to show it on CUDA. Uh, we also have the ability to downsample our GPU textures in the case that we wanted to take really high resolution textures and send them to the GPU in a smaller format to allow us to use the memory a little bit better. So and the way we can turn that on and off is with this checkbox. So with just those few settings I'm going to go ahead and hit IPR and that's going to launch into V-Ray RT. What will happen is V-Ray RT is going to take all of that information from the scene and port it over directly to the GPUs. Now this process can usually take uh, 30 seconds or so depending on how big your scene is and how many textures that you have. And there we have it. So now this scene is actually giving us a full ray traced frame. And this is with glossy reflections, with global illumination, uh, high dynamic range, image-based lighting. And if I start to tumble around my scene to begin to look at different camera angles or different views, you can see how quickly it updates on the other side. And if I zoom out to see all of the planes flying in formation, it's not a problem. Uh, we're actually doing something for the very first time. We're using true instancing with V-Ray RT. So we're actually able to put in a tremendous amount of uh, polys because of the fact that they're instant. And this is rendering almost 5 million polys at full HD with full interactivity inside of Maya 2013 as well. Okay, so I've opened up a production scene here with a highly detailed robot. And when I start working on look development, the first thing that I would do is add a V-Ray dome light with an HDR. That's just going to give me a general environment light. Next thing I'm going to do is go to my render settings and choose the RT engine and make sure that CUDA is enabled. With that, I'm going to launch the IPR. There we go. One of the new features inside of V-Ray RT is we've added the ability to use V-Ray blend materials. In this particular case, I've got the robot looking one way, and if I drag my slider all the way to the right, we can see a completely alternate set of materials. So once we have the shaders looking the way we want them, we'll switch over and start working on our lighting setup. Okay, so I've opened up our lighting scene here, and we've got our robot in the middle, surrounded by a few area lights and a V-Ray dome light. If I switch to my production camera view, and I enable V-Ray RT, we'll be able to take a look at each one of these different lights and its contribution to the character. So if I enable the first one here, this is going to be a blue fill light, and we can see that that provides a bit of uh, shading on the front of the robot. Then I'll turn on our rim light to pull out the silhouette, and to separate the character from the background, we've got a bit of a blue rim. A few more environment lights to turn on, and we have our character looking pretty good. Once we're happy with the way things are set up, we can actually take a look at the different animated frames. So if I go to a different position here of our character, we can see what he looks like when he starts to leap, and what he looks like when he takes off. The CUDA-enabled version of V-Ray RT allows us to walk through look development in real time. So as you can see, using V-Ray RT on a Kepler-based Maximus platform provides the power and scalability you need to produce high quality iterations, spending less time waiting and more time being an artist.